Ueno is often underestimated falling behind Asakusa or Shibuya as Tokyo's destination, but it offers lots of attractions that is a mixture of busy streets and charming n e i g h b o r h o o d and it's also a home of Tokyo's top museums and temples. Today, I'd like to show you around a little bit of Ueno. Tokyo has lots of unique neighborhoods, but Ueno is probably one of the top of the list as a place to visit for sightseeing. Ueno is located in the northeast of Tokyo, Yamanote Lines, Ueno, and Okachimachi Station. And also, depends on where you are, you can use Ginza Line, and I used Oedo Line to Ueno Okachimachi Station from Shinjuku area. Now, let's head to the Ueno Park. Ueno Park is a large park on the hill, and it's including the large pond called Shinobazuike. The majority of the park used to be the territory of Kanage Temple, so you can see many historical temples and shrines remain in the park. The first temple you will see is Kiyomizu Kanondo of Kanage Temple. Built in 1694 to imitate Kyoto's Kiyomizu Temple, it is a national important cultural property. In the middle of Shinobazu Pond, there is a Bentendo. This Bentendo is modeled after Hogonji on Chikubu Island in Lake Biwa in the West Japan. You can also ride on the boat in the pond and other little activities which can be fun. You will also see an area with many shrines gathered, such as Gojoten Shrine, which is said to have been born in this area 1900 years ago. There are several shrines here, but I don't put everything on this video, so you can enjoy more when you get here. You can explore the area and find other shrines. Toshogu is a shrine in Nikko in the northern Tokyo that is enshrined Ieyasu Tokugawa who established Edo period. This shrine was built for the people of Edo who cannot go to Nikko. The existing main hall was built in 1651 and is designated as the National Important Cultural Property. Now let's eat lunch. In this restaurant called Inshote, right next to the shrine. Inshote opened in 1875 for people visiting Ueno Park, and you can eat Japanese kaiseki meal, which was many mini plates with different ingredients. It has a very nice, quiet environment, and you can enjoy the seasonal view of Ueno Park. What I ordered was about 1,600 yen, which is about 13 dollars, and has three plates separated, but everything was delicious. It might not be something you like, like jaw dropping delicious, but it's a good experience of Japanese tradition. For people in Tokyo and surrounding area, Ueno Park is called Ueno Zoo. Since we are taken by parents to this zoo when we are kids, today, The zoo and all museums are closed because it's Monday. This is something you might want to know when you plan your trip to Japan, but many facilities are closed on Mondays in Japan. I chose Monday because not many people visit the park, so I can enjoy the scenery more and good for shooting the video. But if you are interested in the zoo or museums, make sure you avoid Mondays. If you miss a cup of coffee or just tired of walking, there are some coffee shops in the park. But especially, this Starbucks overlooking the National Museum is a good one. Ueno Park is also a home of the National Museums. And there are lots of other museums, such as Tokyo Metropolitan Museum of Art. The National Museum is the oldest museum in Japan, and they are celebrating 150 years anniversary now. Even when the park is busy on the weekend, you can find some quiet spots. If you escape to the north of the park. So I'm in the north side of the Ueno Park. Not many people come to this part of the station. There are a little area called Yanaka. It's kind of more like a residential area and some cemeteries. It's a kind of nice area to walk around. On the way to Yanaka, you see Tokyo University of Arts, International Children Library that collects many books for children from all over the world. And you also see the current Kanage Temple that used to be a powerful temple that protects the northeast direction of Edo Castle, which is considered as Kimo, which is written Devil's Gate in o m i o d o Behind the National Museum, there is an area called Yanaka. It's a residential area that is surrounded by many temples. Some street doesn't look like you are in Tokyo or time s l i p to the old day. Quiet part of Ueno. This is a good area to visit because you can see more where people live and how Tokyo used to be.
it's in the Yanaka street, and uh, it's more of a local people's street, but you see some souvenir shops, and it's a little different, it's a little more laid back than Ueno, and it's a nice area to come for the food. Yanaka Ginza is a little street with shops for local residents and also some places to eat. From here, Nippon Station is right there. After enjoying the Ueno Park, you cannot miss Ameyoko. It's a long commercial street between Ueno Station and Okachimachi Station, and you can see tons of shops and places to eat. Tips to enjoy Ueno is again, if you want to go to museum and zoos, make sure you avoid Mondays. If you like quiet time, choose Monday. Also, Ueno Zoo and some facility ask for reservation now, so check their website before you visit. All of them, has the English website. If you like Ueno, you might want to stay in Ueno area. But hotels you can find in Ueno is mainly business hotels. If you prefer the low-cost hotels or you are on the budget, there are many hotels in Ueno. Make sure you check the reviews before you choose. Thank you for watching the video. If you find the content interesting or helpful, please click the like button and subscribe today. I hope you have a great day until the next video.